Oh, it's a precious promise. She wonders how can this be? What will the people say and what if Joseph can't believe? And her questions and her fears are met with an overwhelming joy that God has chosen her. Oh, what a precious promise. Mary waits as heaven comes to her. Oh, what a precious promise. Oh, what a gift of love. Joseph makes his choice to do what few men would have done. To take Mary as his bride When she's already carrying a child That isn't his own Oh, what a precious promise Mary waits as heaven comes to earth And shepherds stand on a hillside, their hearts racing with the news the angel told them. A star's light brights up the dark sky as the night of precious promise is unfolding. precious promise oh what a gift of love waiting now is over and time has finally come for the God who made this world to roll back the curtain and unveil his passion for the heart of man precious promise lying in a manger in Bethlehem. Oh, what a precious promise lying in a manger in Bethlehem.
sing we now of Christmas. Let heaven and nature sing. Oh, sing Christmas. There is no more joyful expression of the season than singing. For centuries, the prophets' songs proclaimed the coming Messiah, culminating in the angelic chorus over Bethlehem. Good news, great joy, a Savior is born, and it is the same today. Church bells ring. As people gather together to sing beloved carols, joy to the world, and peace on earth.
It is at once exuberant and tender. It was sung by a host of angels across the expanse of heaven and was whispered by astonished shepherds and worshiping kings. And worshiping kings. Let us meet them at the major now, and may we join with the angels in singing our praise to the newborn Savior. Sing with us now.
When you sing of Christmas, it is much more than a carol or a hymn. It is more than your family gathered around the piano or a candlelit service on Christmas Eve. When you sing of Christmas, it becomes the song of your heart. This Christmas, may I... And worshiping kings. This Christmas... This Christmas, may our hearts be open to the miracles of the season as never before. This Christmas, may our hearts draw ever closer to our Savior as we crown Him Lord of our lives. Oh, come, Lord Jesus. your son long ago on a silent night. Thank you for the chorus of angels, the wonder of shepherds, and the worship of kings. And thank you for the invitation to join them as we proclaim together, joy to the world. The Lord is come. Let earth receive her king. And now, today, and forevermore, let heaven and nature sing. Oh. 
Amen.
minutes now. You've been encouraged to come. You've been urged to come and encourage the choir and support them. Do you feel encouraged and supported tonight, choir? Yes. And on the flip side of that, you've been told that you would receive a blessing if you came tonight. Did you receive a blessing? Yes. Uh, I went and sat down beside my wife uh, after I tried to sing that first time. And uh, she said, I am so proud of these people. And uh, I am proud. And, uh, you know, we are blessed to be a blessing. And I'm blessed to be the interim pastor here at Dallas Baptist Church. And I was truly blessed tonight. It, it says in the Bible, uh, whatever you say or do, do it all to the glory of God. And tonight, God was glorified. And uh, I hope you were surprised tonight. I hope that you came expecting a blessing, but still yet you were surprised. Because uh, the, Jennifer did a great job. Ted did a great job. The choir did a great job. Uh, but uh, y'all have been practicing and practicing and practicing. But there was something else here tonight that added to and enhanced. Uh, did you know that right up until the middle of the first song, we still didn't know if the soundtrack for the choir would work? And I noticed that if there was a slight hesitation tonight, it was never when you were singing. It was only when the narrator is trying to do his narrator thing. God is at work here at Dallas Baptist Church. And I'm proud to stand here and tell you that God is going to do a new and mighty work here at Dallas Baptist Church. And uh, I'd like to invite all of you to come back to watch us online, live, or a replay. But to come back, uh, this is the last Sunday, believe it or not, this Sunday is the last Sunday before Christmas. So I hope you'll be here to worship with us at 1030. And then on Christmas Eve, Saturday the 24th, we're going to have our Christmas Eve service at 530. And then on Christmas Day, we'll be here again at 1030. I mean, we're celebrating the birthday of Jesus. You didn't think we'd call it off, did you? And the devil has tried a lot of things to cause a lot of things going on here at, at Dallas Baptist Church. He's attacked us with health things and other things and the, the soundtrack tonight. But you know what? Our God is greater. And our God always has the last word. And I think he had the last word tonight. And I think he is pleased with our worship tonight. And I think he, I know God is pleased with the offering that the choir and Ted and Jennifer offered up to him and the soundboard people it takes a lot of folks and to get everything set now we're gonna all go over everybody's invited to go over to the fellowship hall and we're gonna have a time of fellowship that's what you do in the fellowship hall right now fellowship and uh, it's gonna be some uh, some cookies and various things uh, you have anything you want to say That's right, that's right. And uh, I look forward to the next big thing, right? Yeah, now some of y'all want to rest, right? Right, yeah. Some of you are thinking, I gotta go straight from here to the grocery store tomorrow and start thinking about uh, all the Christmas cooking and everything going on. So uh, without further ado, let's pray. And we'll, uh, everybody, let's go over to the fellowship hall. Some of you I don't know very well, or I've just met you tonight, and I'd like to get to know you better. And uh, you come on over especially, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much. The way that you gave uh, the Spirit 
to the choir and to Ted and to Jennifer and the sound people and the people that put all this up and set it out and kept it going and got things ready over in the fellowship hall. Lord, we thank you that you can do more than we could ever ask or think, that with you, everything is possible. Anything is possible. <clears throat> and we pray, Lord, that uh, we would give you the glory and that as we do, you would embrace us with your love and mercy and grace and that we would know you and love you and trust you like we have never known and never done it before. And Lord, to you be the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.